it's about being there for our youth. It's about advocating for our youth. The majority of our youth, we are interconnected in a way of whether it's how we were brought up or what we've been through, but definitely the institutionalized systems uh, within this country affect our student body at a pretty high rates, but it also affects our staff, so that relatability is there. There's many red flags uh, from a social work perspective about um, the disparity of incomes, about a, an incredibly uh, rapidly growing low income population. We need to um, have some more checks and balances in our system um, so that we're meeting the needs of all individuals. in terms of we're talking about race, class, gender, doesn't matter. We have to talk it out. We have to express how we feel, reflect, really open up. And it's for the betterment of society, betterment for students, for children as a whole. I think that's the only way we can bridge that gap. But I would say to people is get to know someone that is not like you. Get to know someone who doesn't look like you. You benefit from understanding diverse cultures. Our schools should reflect the way, our schools should reflect the way the world looks so we don't have these issues. Not only say, I can listen what's happening to you, or what, you're, what are you scared or your uh, fears, but also I would say, I can empower, we can empower each other and we can do something because we have the power to do this. We can make a change. Mm -hmm. We need to make a change and we need to do it together in solidarity. Mm -hmm.